friends, hi friends, hi friends. Happy Thursday. I can't wait to see all of you and spend time with you guys today for a super party on Periscope. Hello, Beth. Hello, Lilia. I'm so excited to see you guys. I hope you are having an amazing Thursday so far. It is super rainy here in Virginia. Hello, Mom. Hello, Agatha. Hello, everybody. And Drew is here. Hello, 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 Kelly. And Jess is here too. And Cece's here. And Heather's here. And Effie's here. Megan is here. It is a party. And I hope that wherever you are, you are safe from the rain. So Megan and Lindsay and Chantal and many of my Oilers are in Florida. So I'm hoping that everyone is nice and safe and warm. And hopefully after this scope, hello, Jen. Hello, everybody. I hope after this scope, you will be making some nice cozy soup to keep you nice and and cozy uh, inside and away from any storm damage. Hello, everybody. Hello, Linda. Hello, you guys. Good, Lindsay. I'm so glad that you guys are good down wherever you are. I am holding space for you every Thursday, just like we do here in the cloud. Let me know where you are watching from. Hello, Sandy. Hello, everybody. Hello, Holly. And you'll have to tell me your name if you have a fancy screen name that I don't know so I can give you a shout out. And if you are new to my Periscope broadcasts, my name is Hillary LeMay. Hello from Indiana and I am your Throw It Out Thursday label reading gangster hostess and essential oil educator and platinum global team leader and Aroma Touch certified practitioner with doTERRA International. Hello, Heather from Louisiana. I hope it is dry over there. Oh my goodness. And every single week since December 2015, we have met together in the cloud. Hello. Oh, I'm so glad you're ready to learn from Cheryl, New York. And we have just been kicking chemicals to the curb every single week together since then. And we are just always on the ready to learn how to make small sustainable changes that we can stick with that are fun that the kids can get involved with and that can truly alter our course and improve our daily lives and this is what this is all about making things that are super practical hello Taylor making things that are really practical for you that you'll have fun with and be able to use your essential oils and speaking of learning tonight I'm gonna to teach you how to be your own superstar this fall with a yummy cozy and healthful ginger carrot soup up leveled with our essential workhorses so before I forget in case you're living under a rock the convention kits with all the new doTERRA products came out a couple uh, with uh, last week and so if you want to snag those up you want to get them before the month is over because doTERRA is saying that they will have enough kits to last through the month but I don't know if that's gonna happen everyone's only limited to two and I know a lot of you are snagging them up so be sure to get those if you place a qualifying order, or if you get started with my favorite, the Home Essentials Kit, which has the top 10 oils and a diffuser, you're gonna get three free oils and a car diffuser, which is pretty amazing. So this is the car diffuser I showed last week. This is called the Iris. She's beautiful and she is just fantastic for the car. And then you're gonna get the Citrus Trio, which uh, I'm super excited to experiment with Clementine because she's gorgeous and citrus, and Kumquat, and red mandarin free with your purchase and then the oil of the month this month is lemon which is really amazing oh good i'm so glad you're gonna get your kit tomorrow and hello marianne so lemon is free this month and the terrazyme digestive enzymes are 10 percent off this month i love everything and the flavor is amazing with all these citrus oils you can use them in your celery juice you can use them in your smoothies in your hot tea in your coffee and anything you like and so uh speaking of flavor i always get requests to share my recipes for easy family meals. Hello, Mandy, I'm so glad you joined. And this is time for just eating for the seasons. I love eating seasonally. So whatever's in season, whatever is nice and cozy and seasonally appropriate is my jam. And it also kind of helps you switch up your meals too. Hello, Helen. If you're eating for the seasons, you don't get bored. You're not making the same things all the time. So it's kind of fun to switch it up for your family. And so it's time to eat for the seasons and we're gonna make this yummy, hearty fall soup to complement your yummy cozy fall drinks that we made last Thursday. Hello Callie, hello, hello. And so we've been talking about celery a lot. We've been loving on celery, hashtag celery squad. So this month in my team challenge, I challenged um, my oil squad to enjoy celery juice seven times with an essential oil of choice. And so I'm excited to see everyone experimenting with their new citrus trio as well. And it's been really fun, but there are other root vegetables that deserve some love and some limelight. And that is carrot. 
carrots. Carrots are awesome and there's something that we totally overlook. And I'm victim of that too. Just like I overlooked celery for a long time, I overlooked carrots too. And so we get to up level the flavor of our favorite foods easily using oils since we don't always have the fresh herbs and spices on hand. So it's really fun to be able to show you guys little by little how simple it is to really pack your food full of flavor and you don't have to use preservatives or um, sugar or salt, you know, a lot of those ingredients in your cooking when you're using these really robust flavors from the oils. And I love showing you exactly what to do with your doTERRA products, how fun it is and easy it is to incorporate them into your cooking and catering to your own family's preferences and um, just really watching your waistline, watching your wallet and streamlining making healthy meals during the week whenever you need a, a boost. And so this platform of Periscope is something that I love and I'm so grateful that you've joined me over here and it allows me to share my passion for doTERRA essential oils, my love for wellness living and the freedom to just do whatever we want whenever we want to. If we're going to talk about celery, we're going to. If we want to talk about carrots, we're going to. And so maybe whoever brought you to doTERRA isn't as enthusiastic as we are because this is glitter bomb central right here. Like straight up, you're going to have a great time. Hopefully I make you laugh and you learn something and you can share that with your friends and family, but maybe they are. Either way, this is just a safe collective place for everybody to come every single week for continuing education, whether you're getting that or not elsewhere. Fun with me, no matter what team you're on. So I love having all of these archived on YouTube and on Periscope. So this is just our little cozy nook of the interwebs that we've collected over the years together. And I hope after watching these broadcasts, you'll see essential oils don't have to be intimidating. They are fun and accessible for the whole family and they can save you money, keep you out of the doctor's office, keep you out of the drive through on weeknights and enhance your recipe or repertoire. So try to say that 10 times fast. So if you would love to swipe to the right or up, you can share this with your friends and followers and that would be amazing. Uh, and then you can tap the screen as many times as you want and that gives me a little heart and it just lets me know that you're having fun with me and you're learning and you're enjoying this time together. So again, if you miss anything, no worries. You can catch up on YouTube or Periscope and if you um, are catching for the first time, you have a lot of catching up to do. So if you fly sometime soon, maybe you'll spring for the Wi-Fi and you can catch up on some of my older broadcasts. So I would like you to put up a one if your family loves soup and then put up a two if you've ever made soup. So we're going to get cooking and then I'm going to chat with you and we can manage our time really well. So we'll get the food cooking and then we'll chit chat a little bit more about carrots and about why we're doing this. Okay, so I have this nifty little hot plate here and I'm just going to turn this up to medium heat and I am going to take uh, two tablespoons of olive oil and I'm going to get this going in our saucepan right here and it's gonna start sizzling here, so I will probably have an olive oil facial very soon. <laughs> Good, yes, everyone is loving soup. Olivia and George and I love soup so much. So we have our pan, we have two tablespoons of olive oil. You can use grass-fed butter, whatever works for you. And then we are gonna to add to this a half a pound of carrots that have been cleaned and shredded, okay? And you can do this however you like. You can use um, sliced carrots that you've sliced in coin sizes. You can do whatever works for you. I love using the shredded carrots. I think that um, it works really well in this recipe, but you can certainly do whatever is going to make you happy. Now we are also gonna now add um, a half an onion that we have chopped and peeled and made really nice and fragrant. It smells so good in here. We've got carrots, we've got onions, and it's fantastic. All right, and so we are just gonna mix this all together and give this a little zhuzh and then warm it up. And already it looks so colorful. I love cooking for the seasons. These yummy root vegetables are so healthy for you and we're gonna talk all about all the incredible properties of carrots and then we're gonna talk about the oils that we're gonna use in our soup and it's just gonna be so fun for you. I think you're really gonna enjoy this. And you can maybe you know let me know if you've ever made carrot soup before. And I'm all about getting the help where I can, especially when it comes to weeknight dinners. And I'm just gonna turn this up a little bit. And I love Instacart because uh, I have that through Wegmans and Harris Teeter and some of the local grocery stores, even Costco in my neighborhood um, delivers Instacart to my door, which is amazing. Um, you can get from Wegmans, you can get organic shredded carrots, which is really great. Hello, Sarah, hello, Bella, if you are watching. So I really love um, taking some help when I can get it. Now, if I have time, I would shred these myself, but it's really nice on busy weeknights for you to be able to do this. Um, Wendy's saying this is a great recipe for the teacher lunch and coming up at your school. Oh yeah, definitely. I bet the teachers would love this. It's sweet, it's fantastic, it's rich for the seasons, and it's just gonna be packed with flavor. You're gonna love it. But anyway, as I was saying, I love 
having options like this that make it streamlined for me instead of spending a lot of time chopping vegetables. If I have time on a Sunday, I like to do all of my food prep that day. But if I'm making something specific and I wanna make maybe a larger batch or have this to freeze, it's really nice to be able to grab these matched sit carrots that are organic and already cut for me. So that's just another little amazing life hack. Um, Callie's never made carrot soup, but she's eating a vegetable soup broth right now. Yum, 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 yum. And you can also do this uh, recipe in the Instant Pot as well. So just keep that in mind. Um, that is definitely an option that you have. Now this is, there we go. We're gonna just see if we can get this going a little higher now. And while this cooks, we're gonna chat. Now, I think there's a misperception with a lot of people that making soup is so difficult and it really is so simple. Um, I'm gonna change that, and by the time my scope is done, hopefully you're gonna feel empowered that you can make your own soup without preservatives, sugar, nasty chemicals. If you look at the side, especially of some creamed soups, you will see so much sugar and so many ingredients that really don't need to be on your in your soup can, and you know those things are sitting in your pantry for months and months and months at a time, and you really don't need that. It's so empowering to be able to make your own, and I am hoping that you will try this and you'll enjoy it. It, um, and that it's actually quick enough for you to do this on a weeknight. You can switch up the flavors, you can choose your own adventure, and you'll never look at a bowl of soup or maybe a cup of carrots the same way again, I hope. And so this is actually kudos to my sweet oiler, Mama Beth, because Mama Beth is amazing and she is like an oily fairy godmother for our oil squad and she makes this gingered carrot fall soup and I have taken some creative liberties giving this a little amazing flair um, and tweaked it a little bit especially because it's something that when you do this on a demonstration there are some steps that I need to change up a little bit to make it so that we're not staying here for you know an hour where and and different things are spilling all over the place so there's a lot of considerations that go into sharing a demo like this where there's heat and then there's blenders and things like that so I'm showing you how I love to streamline this recipe but if you want to do this in the instant pot totally go for that um, you can cook your carrots and onions together in the instant pot and they'll cook really quickly there that's just a little bit too bulky to show you and I love being able to show you and demo for you how simple these recipes really can be so you can definitely get your kids involved as long as you're supervising them with the heat yes it's the magic of the live broadcast exactly um, but so you know there's definitely lots of ways you can do this you can do this in the crock pot you can do it in the instant pot you can choose your own adventure, do whatever works for you. But this is what we're gonna do. Now I'm just gonna give this a little zhuzh and I hear it singing to me, this sounds awesome. And everything's just getting really nice and soft. And what we're gonna do is let this um, just soften a little bit for about five minutes, so not too long. We're just gonna let those carrots and the onions, the sweets, the sweet sugar naturally release from these vegetables um, in just a few minutes. That's all it's gonna take, not long at all and it already smells so good in this kitchen. I wish I had a smell vision, but I do not. But you can choose your own adventure and make this at home in your own kitchen. It just smells so fantastic. Anything with onions and root vegetables is always just so comforting to me. Uh, I love the smell of those ingredients. So we're gonna put this lid back on for a second and then we'll revisit in a moment. And so, um, Beth, I just wanna say thank you because you all inspire me so much. And when Beth shared this recipe with me, I knew that I needed to put it on my Periscope uh, on my Periscope idea board. I have a board where just randomly something will inspire me and I stick it on that board with a post-it and I'm just like, okay, it's time to do this one. It's time to do this one. And it, it just, it felt right this week to do this. So Beth, thank you so much. I am so grateful for you in my life. You are such an amazing person and I am so inspired by you and everyone that watches. So if you ever have any ideas that you think would be great for Periscope, let me know. I would love to feature them for you and you'll have to agree to give me a little bit of leeway to make some uh, amazing changes, a little modifications depending on um, depending on what the recipe is. So we are going to talk all about carrots. So comment with your favorite soup. Yeah, it is perfect for a rainy day here in Virginia, Wendy, exactly. You have to comment with your favorite soup. I love soup. George and Olivia love soup. So this is just an awesome addition to our repertoire. Um, but why carrots deserve our attention? so many reasons. So you'll find carrots in many, many things. Um, healthy vegetable soups, just like we're making. You'll find carrots in salads. You can make carrot juice, which I'm really excited about making. An oriental food scope drew, oh yes, you know what? Actually, that's a really good idea because I make a really good ginger beef and broccoli with sesame seeds, so that would be a really yummy uh, a yummy recipe. I'll have to jot that down when I'm done. Thank you for that. And um, But you can make 
you can make carrot juice, which I'm excited about experimenting with. You can slice carrots into sticks um, for just snacking raw. You know, sometimes if you go to like a sports bar and you have some wings, they bring you celery and carrots, you know, and hopefully now you probably won't view celery and carrots the same way because you really know how amazing they are for you, that they're not just a garnish on the side of your plate. And you can have carrots sliced and grated and julienned and sauteed, pureed, baked as chips, and really that's just only the beginning. So as if creating all of those dishes wasn't enough, carrots have so many health advantages. So carrots are very high in vitamin A. So that is incredible because it's an essential nutrient that you need for good vision. And we all need to be able to see where we're driving, where we're going. We need to be able to read our essential life books. We, we need to be able to look in our back office. You know, we need to have really good vision for just enjoying our life and enjoying all the beauty around us. And it is really incredible. So I just wanna keep that in mind for you. And um, carrots are also loaded with beta carotene, so they are converted into vitamin A in your liver, which is really incredible. And the fact that beta carotenes actually cannot be manufactured in the body, they have to be obtained by your diet, by the things that you are eating. And I am just gonna give this a little zhuzh here, now that I see this is melting down a little bit. Look at how gorgeous this is, you guys. Holy cow, the color is incredible. I love the color and it's starting to, um, melt down and those natural sugars are coming out and it's gonna make the soup so flavorful and tasty and then the savory of the onion is gonna give it a lot of beautiful depth um, this is just gonna be so yummy we're gonna give this another few more minutes and then we'll be ready to blend and make our soup mixture and so um, beta carotene is, is just super incredible for you and it's very important. It's crucial for improving the immunity of your body and for protecting your skin health, protecting your eyes, fighting free radical damage. And free radical damage can even cause forms of chronic diseases um, like cancer and heart disease. And this is why I take DDR Prime every night before bed. It's great for repairing damaged DNA. Um, but carrots are also incredible. So if you have not thought about carrots as a side dish for your cooking or maybe making a carrot soup and I'm going to show you how easy it is to freeze this so I'll actually give you a little sneak peek because um, these might melt by the time my scope is over but I freeze an extra batch of this I make two batches and when I make this I freeze extras in these cool silicone molds and it's probably a little bit melty but you can see this is the kind of mold that I use for my bone broth pucks so I'm glad I showed you this now because I think it's gonna melt in a few minutes because uh, of the heat of this but this is the same kind of silicone mold that I use for my bone broth pucks and I can just pour an extra batch of this soup into a silicone mold pop it in the freezer when it's frozen pop it out and put it in in a reusable bag and then on a quick weeknight if I need an extra meal option or if we're running around or if we're playing outside too late we can just um, you know toss a couple of these pucks into a saucepan and uh, defrost it and then we have a beautiful dinner that we can have so that's just a little life hack for you a little amazing life hack for you um, if you want to streamline your weeknights making things like soups and broths are a great great option for doing that and so, um, but carrots also have amazing minerals, like my favorite one, magnesium, um, but also has potassium and calcium. And I'm getting a carrot facial. Can you see? Ah, I can feel my skin opening, <laughs> my pores opening up. Let's give this another zhuzh. And it's almost there. This is amazing. So it only takes about five minutes. You just want to get the carrots and the onions soft. And that's what's going to really help the smooth texture of the soup because we're going to pop this in the blender. Where do you get the molds, Callie? I think I got them on Amazon. Um, oh, thank you, Beth. I'm glowing with my carrot facial. I'll have to tell Erica that she needs to incorporate uh, carrots into my next facial <laughs> later this month. So yeah, we are almost there. We're gonna just finish up talking about carrots and our, uh, our oils and then we'll be there. Yeah, perfect. So yeah, I think you can get the molds on Amazon or um, your local craft store. Try Michael's too if you, don't, if you don't have any luck, but Amazon always has stuff like this. And they're like little soap molds, they're little square molds. You can also do the round ones, whatever molds you have. Even if you have like dinosaurs and bears, you know what, you can have bear-shaped frozen pucks of carrot, uh, carrot soup and it's gonna be awesome. So, but carrots are awesome, they are incredible, they have all those fantastic minerals. They're also highly nutritious and cleansing because they contain a lot of fiber. Fiber is so important. We need fiber to maintain healthy, com to maintain healthy, comfortable bowel movements. And it wouldn't be a Thursday with me if we didn't talk about poop. And everybody needs to poop and you should be pooping at least once a day comfortably without straining. If you are not doing that, you need to snag up your Terrazyme for 10% off this month. You need to grab your magnesium mocktail and just enjoy 
hydrating your intestines, right? So hydrated intestines are clear intestines. And you know what? It's all good because we talk about poop and it's just how we do it around here. We're family, we're friends, we're this Periscope squad together and it's a safe place. You're safe here. You can let your bowels just relax and everything is okay and comfortable. We do. True friends care about your bowel health and I am a value added friend. And I hope if nobody has asked you about your poop today that now somebody has. <laughs> and um, carrots are just so incredible. They, in a nutshell, basically regularly consuming carrots protect your eyes. They decrease your risk of heart attacks and strokes. They help you um, protect you from just maintaining a healthy immune system. Like it's really important right now, especially in the season of, of the year, that we want to maintain a healthy immune system above all. So healthy bowel movements, healthy immune system, and you're going to rock this lifetime up the wazoo. Yes. <laughs> I have your back. I have your front. I have your back. It's all good. And I care. And, um, Carrots also help support your skin, wound healing. They protect your brain and cognitive health. So especially if those of you um, that are aging are looking for cognitive support, carrots are an amazing thing to add into your nutritional profile each day. And basically between celery, carrots, and essential oils, I got you covered. Every body system is going to be covered around here. And so this is just a blank slate. You can add half a cup of pumpkin to this. You can add a half a cup of butternut squash that's roasted. You can choose your own adventure with style and grace all over the place. Um, and now we're going to talk a little bit about the oils that we're going to use in the soup. And we are so close. Oh my gosh. It looks so good, I'm melting down, warming up. It is fantastical in this dish right here. Yes, 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 it's happening. Our soup is forming the base, uh, the baseline. We always have to build a solid foundation, right? So no matter what we're doing, we have to lay the groundwork. And so I like to show you why we're using the things we're using and what the value is for your life. So uh, in terms of oils, we're gonna be using a couple different ones. We're gonna be using red mandarin, and this is cleansing to the body, and it's also free this month, uh, and it's fresh and sweet, and it's gonna bring out the sweetness in this recipe. The next oil we're going to use is turmeric, which is a newbie that hopefully all of you are getting in your convention kits. The tumorones that we talked about in my celery scope are tremendous for inflammation and pain, so you're going to love turmeric. And then pink pepper is also in the convention kit, and pink pepper is a rock star for brain and cognitive health, and it's wonderful for grounding this recipe and really rounding out everything because the carrots are going to be sweet and fibrous, and the onions are going to be nice and savory. And the pink pepper is kind of going to round that out really beautifully. I think you're going to really love this. Now, if you don't have pink pepper yet, you can use black pepper. That's totally fine. And then last but not least, our star of the show, Ginger. She's so cute. She's so gorge. I love Ginger. She's warm and just, ugh, it's so perfect for the fall. And ginger and carrots are both root vegetables and they're so powerful. Ginger is soothing for your digestive system. Uh, it is so fantastic for relieving anxious feelings and also reduces inflammation. So these are powerhouse oils that we are using and that we're gonna be adding into our super food carrot soup. And also, speaking of which, and I'll talk about this before my scope ends, but shout out to Elka at Share Oils because she just um, shot me a code today that is good for all of you to use until the end of the year until December 31st it's EBO 15 and if you put that in at checkout when you go to shareoils.com you'll get 15% off your entire order you can use the code from now until December 31st I am so grateful for all of these incredible vendors that are just spoiling us with these amazing discounts. So it is so with gratitude that I share this. So I will share this again before the scope is over too. So those are the oils we're gonna use and it looks like we are here. We've arrived, you guys, we've arrived. It is time. So we are gonna turn off our hot plate and we're gonna do a little zhuzhing and get some of these things out of the way so that we have room to groove. I'm just gonna move this over to the side for a second. All right, and now we are gonna grab all of our yummy carrot and goodness. Yes, it is time. And we're gonna unplug this hot plate here so that we can switch gears a little bit. And then we're gonna grab our carrots, this yummy carrot mixture. Okay, and what we're gonna do is take this and transfer it to our blender bottle, okay? And so we're gonna just grab our blender bottle here. And if you have a Vitamix, definitely use that. I do not have a Vitamix. It is on my Christmas list for the future, um, but I definitely recommend that's what Beth uses and she has a lot of success using that. Um, so we are just going to use our 
Ninja Blender because that's what we have and we always work with what we have first and foremost. And I'm just gonna move some of these things out of the way so I've got some room to work in the behind the scenes area of the test kitchen here for you. All right, so we've got our carrots. Now what's, cr what's critical about this step is that the carrots need to be nice and soft, that the onions need to be translucent because then we know that it's cooked all the way and that's gonna give us a really incredible bisky, creamy texture. So what we're gonna do is just one by one, toss this right into our blender bottle. And this is just going to be so good. I can't wait for you guys to see the color of this. Beth, again, thank you so much for being so and incredible and sharing this beautiful recipe with me. Beth is like, if you guys have been following me for a while and you saw the scope that I did last year on the molasses ginger crinkle cookies, oh my gosh, it's incredible. Um, Drew has a Ninja and a Vitamix and you like our Ninja better. Well, there's definitely, a, you know, there's definitely reasons um, and, and different scenarios where a Ninja might be better than a Vitamix. I don't have a Vitamix, so I'm not, I can't really speak to it. Um, I don't know enough about it, but there is a soup setting, I believe, Beth, if you're still on here, maybe you could share with us. Um, but she said there's a soup setting, which is cool because it keeps it hot while you are, while you are cooking it. So that's kind of a neat little feature there. So we're going to get this out of the way and clear a little bit of our workspace here. And then we're going to try to get all of the remaining ingredients out of our pan and right into our blender bottle just like this. All right, there we go. So we've got everything in there. All right, and now to this. So we've got our cooked carrots and our onion. Um, CC says QVC has a great deal on a Vitamix, especially now for the holiday season. That's a great idea. That is a great idea. And I'm gonna grab my blender. So we have all these tools, right? These are some basic tools. Now you see me cooking a lot with the Ninja. Um, it's just really, really easy to do this. Um, but as I was saying before I forget, so Beth gave me the incredible recipe for those ginger molasses crinkle cookies that I made a while back and they are just timeless and so good. If you've not seen that recipe, you will, or that demo, you'll definitely wanna check that out in the archives. So now we have the carrots, we've got the onion, and everything's sauteed and really nicely broken down and everything's been released, all those yummy flavors and sugars naturally from the carrots and the onions are translucent. Now what we're gonna do is add two cups of bone broth to this. Now I make my own bone broth. If you follow me on Instagram, you know we're gonna add our bone broth to this blender bottle. But if you wanna make this recipe vegan, uh, you can absolutely do that. You will just want to use a vegetable broth so you can make your own vegetable stock. Uh, you can absolutely do that so we're gonna add two cups of our bone broth and then we're gonna to toss in one mandarin orange you can also use a peeled clementine you can also use half a peeled and cleaned orange um, whatever your favorite flavors are definitely go for that but it's gonna be citrus and it's going to be sweet and savory and it's gonna hit all the things that you want out of a soup and I love sweet and savory if you guys have been here for a while you know that that every recipe I love to try to incorporate sweet and savory in as well and so um, we're gonna blend everything, then we're gonna add our oils, and then we're gonna blend again, okay? So we're just gonna pop this on here, like so, and get this going for you to see the magic of this beautiful mixture. Okay, and then we're just gonna give this a go, and we're gonna start it slowly, okay? So hopefully you guys can see this beautiful color. We're gonna start it slow. the fibrous material start to break up from the carrots and you can turn it on the second level. to see that it's getting a little smoother, a little smoother. So now we're gonna ramp it up to the third level, the highest level, and the longer that you blend this, the smoother and the more creamy it's going to be. And there's no cream in here, there's no milk or heavy cream or anything like that, but it's gonna be really bisky and you're gonna love this.
Okay, now what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna wipe my hands off, and now we're gonna add our oils. So we are gonna add the oils that we have chosen and we've talked about, and first we're gonna add ginger. Okay, so we're gonna add two drops of our ginger. Yes, carrot ginger smoothie would be incredible. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. And for some reason, I lost the little cap that goes onto my blender bottle, so it's kinda ghetto fabulous around here because I have to hold my hand over it. So, you know, it's just what you do. And this is showing you that this is life. You don't need fancy gadgets to be able to make awesome recipes. So ginger is, yeah, I don't know why that thing broke off and you can't even buy the replacement for just that little piece. I don't know why not. So ginger, we're gonna add, we're gonna add two drops of our ginger. And I just love this smell so much. Oh my God, it's so like perfumey and fall. So we've got our ginger and then we've got our pink pepper, which also, if you did not know, ladies, pink pepper is the pink ribbon oil. So protect the tatas and incorporate a drop or two of pink pepper in your Franken Co. dropper each day. Or if you do a veggie cap, I highly recommend that you incorporate pink pepper into your routine. It is going to help keep your breasts healthy and fight any free radical damage that might be trying to creep into them. And then two drops of our red mandarin, every day, all day, every day. And this red mandarin is gonna complement the uh, mandarin oranges. Oh my gosh, it's just gonna be fragrant, sweet, savory, fall, everything we need in life. And it's gonna be incredibly helpful. And then our turmeric. Yes, ooh, Megan loves it in her tea. Ooh, yeah, definitely get that chai going. One, two, all right. And so now we've got it oiled and we are gonna give it one final zhuzh. Here, I'll move these oils out of the way. And this is totally gluten-free, dairy-free, um, you know, unless you, uh, if you switch up the broth and um, just do vegetable stock, then it's totally vegan as well. All right, let's give this a final zhuzh, shall we? Let's do it. are going to pour this in a beautiful soup bowl and show you the magic of this delicious soup. You are gonna love this so much. Okay, so now the moment of truth. We are going to grab our bowl and plate this up for you. Okay. And I'm going to take out the blade. Now what I'm gonna show you is something that you can choose your own adventure with. Now I love um, really nice fibrous soups and I love um, nice thick texture soups and this has a little bit of texture, a little bit of pulp, a little bit of texture. So what I'm gonna do is use one of my favorite new acquisitions and I have another one of my amazing oilers Donna to thank. So Donna, if you are watching later or if you snuck on here and I didn't see you, shout out to you because um, Donna has showed me the true magic of the nut milk bag. So if you've ever heard of a nut milk bag, this is something that is more eco-friendly than a cheesecloth because it's reusable and washable. And I've been using this in my celery juice. So um, before when I had my ghetto fabulous style with my strainer and my bowl pressing the celery fibers, um, this is incredible. And you can get this on Amazon for like 11 bucks. So this is incredible. This is a nut milk bag. And what I'm gonna do is strain the soup before I Bowl it up. Now, um, if you have 20 minutes or 25 minutes and you want to saute the carrots a little bit longer so they're a little bit softer, you probably don't have to strain this, but I really like it nice and smooth without any extra pulp. But if you like the pulp, that's totally cool. You can drink it, you know, you can, um, you can have it as is. So this is what the nut milk bag looks like and you can use this if you're making cashew milk or almond milk or um, any kind of things like that if you're making celery juice or carrot juice, and it's a really good texture. This is like a really nice thick texture and it has a cinch, so you just cinch it in like that and you can um, pop it inside out and put it, uh, you know, just rinse it out in the sink, but this is awesome. So what we're gonna do is pour our carrot mixture, our carrot soup mixture right into here, okay? And we wanna get everything, we wanna get every last ounce of that. And so we're just gonna grab our little spatula here and make sure that we get everything because we don't wanna waste our precious oils. Okay. And 
And what you do is now, you see this beautiful soup mixture. It's golden, it's carrot goodness. And what you can do is just take the little cinch and let the soup just naturally come out. It's beautiful, look at this. It's smooth, there's no pulp in there. And you can just squeeze and you get all that beautiful soup out of there. So gorgeous. And you can just kind of twist this around a little bit and, and knot it up. And this is a really great way if you want to make carrot juice, um, any of those different recipes that you might want to make. And you can just squeeze this and get all this beautiful soup out of here. And there's no pulp and it's so golden and delicious and sweet and it's incredible. I love this. So again, if you want the extra pulp, you can absolutely uh, use, the, use the mixture straight out of the blender. But I really like how uh, the straining and the nut bag, the nut milk bag texture is very fine. So it's going to give you a really, really beautiful texture and you're going to get all the nutrients out of the carrots this way. It's going to be awesome for you. So now the magic, we're going to pour this beautiful golden soup. Look at this awesome soup. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. And then there's enough for another bowl. I'm going to have this after I clean up tonight and it's going to be great. Now what you can do also, you have so many options. You can put a little bit of fresh parsley on top, which I love to do. It just looks so pretty and fancy. And then you can even sprinkle it with a few little, um, pumpkin seeds, little pepitas that I love to do that with um, from time to time. And you can just kind of toss some of these beautiful garnishes on top. So pretty, right? This is so beautiful. And I'm going to, I'm going to grab a spoon and try this with you. Oh my gosh. So good. Oh man, it's so good. The carrot taste, it's sweet and it's savory. It's awesome. You guys are going to love this so much. And of course, um, as I showed you earlier, to streamline your weeknights, if you want to, you can just pour your soup mixture into silicone molds, pop it in the freezer. When the freezer, when they've hardened, pop them out and put them in a reusable bag or a glass container. And then you'll be able to pop them out and thaw them whenever you want to have a yummy, hearty soup in the fall, during the week, when you're busy. If a friend isn't feeling good, you can bring over some soup for them and it's going to be awesome. I'm going to have another bite with some pumpkin seeds. Mmm. So good. And all the flavors round out really beautifully. There's not one thing that you can pick out over another. It's so good. And also because the way that I make my bone broth, I use an oil infused Himalayan pink salt. So you don't need to salt your carrot soup because it's already been flavored beautifully with the bone broth. So, you know, you can uh, tinker around with it and see what is going to work for your particular flavor profile. But again, shout out to Donna because the nut milk bag is so genius and it really streamlined making the soup in a texture that works for me that I really like. So again, this is um, the title, the name, the brand is Ellie's Best Bigger Better Nut Milk Bag. You can snag this on Amazon and it's just a great value, 11 bucks. It's totally reusable. You can um, just rinse it out and let it air dry. It's awesome. So many options for this. You can do rosemary. Um, you can even add cumin or cardamom to give this an interesting flavor profile. Again, you can add pumpkin. You can do uh, butternut squash. You can do so many things. Linda, I don't have a periscope on the bone broth because it's such a long process because um, it takes an hour and a half in the instant pot and then you need to let it cool and depressurize and then strain it and do all these things. So it's a little bit too fussy for that. But if you go to Instagram and you, you type in hashtag bone broth HJL, then you'll be able to pull up my recipe and little video clips and um, images and full details on there on that about that. So uh, you can also find that on the Facebook group page. So if you want to connect with me on Facebook, I can add you to the public page where people from all different teams um, can go and see my recipes and everything all in one place. So this is truly endless possibilities. You know, you can freeze it. You can just add anything that you want to it. You can even add celery to this. It's just absolutely beautiful. Upscale the recipe, double it, triple it, freeze it, have it for a rainy day make a base recipe and then maybe one batch you add pumpkin, one batch you add, um, you know, butternut squash. You can just choose your own adventure as always. So this methodology is a clean slate and I hope that you start to see how versatile essential oils really can be. I hope you found this fun. I can't wait to see combinations of oils that you use that you are going to be nice and cozy. You can pour this in a mug and just sit by the fireplace and read a book or watch any of my periscopes that you might have missed in the past. And you'll have to reach out to me, of course, as always, if you are ready to purchase essential oils and you'd love my support and leadership. Um, this month's promotions are the best that I've ever seen. And I thought that last month, this month is even better. 
$175 in free products. Holy cow, my favorite kit, the Home Essentials kit, comes with all three of those citrus oils that I talked about and the car diffuser. It's an incredible time to jump into essential oils. And also don't forget that I have a free welcome bundle waiting for you and you'll have all access to my research and replays from all of my classes and workshops, tutorials, uh, all the resources that I've got archived in my group page since 2014. I can't wait to bring you into our oily world. And before I wrap, I get a lot of questions about that workhorse diffuser behind me. And so many of you got a chance to snag the deal for these beautiful Stadler diffusers. And this is my Julia. She runs 54 hours. You guys, I do not have to refill her every morning when I come downstairs. It feels so good. She's beautiful. She has this cool oscillating feature. Really, really neat. So if you have not snagged a Stadler diffuser, the awesome folks at Stadler, shout out to Sandy if she's still on here, have been so generous to give us a permanent code to share all the time, anytime. So be sure that you go to stadlerformusa.com and you use the code EBO. That stands for Empowered by Oils. That's my private team page, uh, our team name, but EBO at checkout for an awesome discount. So Sandy is amazing. She's been answering all the questions too. People were asking about um, Canadian shipping and shipping here and shipping there and all these different things. So I'm really grateful for Stadler. They've been so supportive of me and I'm so grateful of them because um, I just, I love their diffusers and I got a couple more with that awesome promotion. And they also sell humidifiers, they sell fans and heaters, so I'm definitely adding some things to my Christmas list for sure. Um, and I'm just so grateful that they have been such an awesome partner so that I can give these amazing discounts to all of you that are so supportive of me all the time. So um, thank you so much for watching and don't forget that if you go to shareoils.com also, thank you to Elka for creating the coupon code EBO15. And that's good for 15% off all of your purchases from now until December 31st. So I will see you guys next week. I'm going to enjoy some more soup and then I'm going to clean up this mess. Mm, it's so good. Uh, thank you, Beth, for sharing this amazing recipe and giving me the creative freedom to tweak it. And Donna, thank you so much for teaching me your awesome ways of the better, bigger nut milk bag. You guys, I love being inspired by you. I am so grateful for your support and encouragement all the time and all the good vibes. So I will see you guys next weekend. Have an awesome evening.